Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade, chapter five, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first part of these is all about getting that bottom number to get to 100, okay? Zoom that in a little bit, there we go, okay. So the first one, the denominator is 50. Well, if we times that by two, we get 100, okay? So we're gonna times the top by two, because whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top, okay? So now three times two is six. Okay, if it's six over a hundred, okay, then it's gonna be 0 0.06 because that ends in the hundredth spot, or it's gonna be six percent. Okay, so now let's do number three. Number three is 25. Well, we have to multiply that by four on top and on bottom to get to 100, and if we multiply the top, we get four. So now, as a decimal, you would have, you have to put a zero first because this ends in the hundredth spot. Over 100 means hundredth, okay? Okay, or your percent would be 4%, okay? So now, To get five to 100, we have to multiply it by 20, because there's 20 nickels in a dollar, and nickels are worth five, okay? So now we're gonna have 100, but we're gonna have 100 up here too, okay? Which means you're gonna have one, or you're gonna have 100%, okay? All right, so we're gonna go down, and we are gonna do, so to get decimals to a percent, all you do is you move the decimal two times that way, okay? Two times to the right, okay? So on this one, one, two, 62.2%, .2%, okay? One, two, 30.3% percent okay you guys do these okay you can totally do that okay do seven and eight okay we're going to write the number in two other forms either fraction just fraction decimal or percent depending on what's already written okay this is already a fraction so we need to times that 20 by five which means we need to times the top by five to get to 100, okay? So now the bottom is 100, and 19 times five, you can do a little side math over here, okay? Five times nine, 45. Five times one is five, plus, no, plus four is nine. So you're gonna have 95 over 100, okay? That means that you have 0.95, because the five ends in the hundredth spot, or 95%, okay? All right, so they gave us a fun one for number 10. I'm gonna leave that to you guys, okay? Find out what you have to multiply 16 by to get it to 100, multiply the top by the same thing, okay? So getting Decimals to a percent, one, two, means I'm gonna have two. That's 40%, okay? And as a fraction, the four is in the 10th spot. Now, if I want it over 100, then I need to put 40 over 100, but I could just put four tenths, or if I reduce that, okay? Okay, so I reduce that because both of those are even numbers, I would get two fifths. Okay, that's my fraction, that's my percent. Okay, okay, you guys do number 12. So you guys are doing seven, eight, 10, and 12. You can totally do them. And we're gonna go ahead down and we're gonna do number 13. 
Okay, number 13 says that according to the Census Bureau, three twenty-fifths of all adults in the United States visited a zoo in 2007. What percentage of all adults in the United States visited a zoo? Well, 3 over 25, I need to multiply 25, just like if I had quarters, by 4 to get to 100. And 3 times 4 is 12. So that is 12%. Okay? All right. A bag contains red and blue marbles. Given that 17 out of 20 of the marbles are red, what percent of the marbles are blue? Okay? So instead of using the 17 out of 20, I'm going to go 20 minus 17 is 3. So I'm going to do 3 over 20. Okay? These ones are red. We need to know how, which ones are blue. The ones that are left are blue. So that's 3 twentieths. Okay? So in order to get 20, to 100, I need to multiply it by 5, so I'm going to multiply the top by 5, gets me 15 over 100, which is 15%, okay? Not bad, guys, once you get used to it, okay? All right, we're going to turn it over, and you guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. Okay, we're going to do this final review. A basket contains six peaches and eight plums. What is the ratio of peaches to the total pieces of fruit? Okay, so peaches is six. Okay, total pieces of fruit, there's six plus eight. That's 14. That's your ratio. Okay, so you can write six over 14. You can write six colon 14, or you can write six to 14. Okay. Take your pick, any given one of those, you can totally do them. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to number four. It says it takes eight minutes for three cars to move through a car wash. At the same rate, how many cars can move through the car wash in 24 minutes? So, three to 24, okay? So we wanna know, Eight minutes, three cars. Uh oh, I did this wrong. So, yeah, see. Let's go over here. Okay. Boom. Okay. Three cars is eight minutes. Okay. So, that would mean, okay, so this one is cars. This one is minutes, okay? So if I counted by eight down here, I would have to count by threes up here. Nine minutes, or sorry, nine cars. Not nine minutes, nine cars, okay? So you just use what's there and you count by those, okay? Nine cars, so. Pardon this one, do that one on your paper. You probably don't have to do the last couple boxes, okay? And your answer will be nine cards, okay? A 14 ounce box of cereal sells for $2.10. What is the unit rate? So, 14 ounces for $2.10. So, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna use the same page and do $2.10, and I'm gonna put that decimal up, and that's for 14 ounces, okay? Well, I don't know my multiples of 14 past about 28, so 14, 28, 42, I think we'll be okay there, okay? So now, 14's not gonna go into two, let me make that decimal a little more pronounced, okay? placeholder, okay? 14 will go into 21 one time. Give me 14, and 21 minus 14 is seven. Oh, we are gonna have to go down a little bit more, okay? Seven is less than 14. So I'm gonna do 14 times four is 56. 14 times five, oh, 14 times five is 70. There we go. 
Okay, so show your work, but your answer will be one ounce is 15 cents. So you can either write dollar sign decimal 15 or you can write 15 cents, okay? But you do have to show your work to show your division problem, okay? All right. A model railroad kit contains curved tracks and straight tracks. Given that 35% of the tracks are curved, what fraction of the tracks are straight? Write the fraction in simplest form. So here's the deal, okay? 35 out of 100, okay? Well, I need to know how much is left, okay, after that 35 is out, okay? So it's going to wind up being 65 over 100, okay? So this is what's already used, okay, curved, okay, and these ones are straight, okay? So... 65 over 100, but those can both be reduced. Oops, you guys can't see that. Okay, that can be reduced by at least by five. Okay, so five is going to go in to 65, 13 times, and five is going to go into 100 20 times, just like there's 20 nickels and a dollar. Okay, so this is your fraction in simplest form. 13 is a prime number. I'm not going to be able to reduce that anymore. So that is it. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 5.3. Come back for 5.4. See you soon.